All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Mills to not do rule well. Salutation to the men of the Hope Land, Sensei Elect. This is your brother Makazar from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And, you know, this lesson would be named The Man of Sin Revealed. All right? And, you know, throughout the scriptures, in the scriptures, this is about prophecies and also mysteries. And, you know, the wicked, the wicked also mentioned in the scriptures. But, you know, for years have been speculated who the wicked is. But guess what? It's no longer speculation because right now the whole world knows who that wicked man is. All right? And that wicked man is Esau, according to the Bible, which are you, you so-called whites. All right? Because ain't nothing white about you. All right? You so-called whites are the wicked. All right? And I was watching that video from, I think, was um, Young Turks. And basically, he was going into it. He was going off talking about, you know, you you, you so-called whites. You know, you calling black people wicked and savages when you were the savages that, you know, for all the horrific things that you did, that your ancestors did. And as the scripture said in Isaiah 14 and 21, it said, prepare slaughter for their children for the iniquities of their fathers. Look at what they did unto the Native Americans. Make them walk the trail of tears. All right? They whip the skin off our backs in slavery. All right, all the all the horrific things that they 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 they, they, had, they fed our children to alligators had gator babies. All right, they did all sorts of horrific things to our people, the nation of Israel. But as the scripture said, thou shalt not altogether go unpunished. But now he's been revealed. Now the whole world seeing him for who he is. He set up his image to be as the son of the Most High and even as the Most High Yahweh. All right. He set up himself to be as the angels, to be the image of the angels, to be the holy people. All right, paint this image in the Bible. Now the Lord Yahweh is getting ready to take him out of the way. Because he's revealed, the world knows that you so-called white people, you Edomites, according to the Bible, are the wicked. The whole world knows. That is why the scripture says, the whole earth is at rest when thou art taken as Isaiah 14. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 2. It says that you be not soon shaken in mind or troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by any letter from us, as that the day of Yahweh, Yahushai, Mashiach, is at hand. The day of the Lord is at hand. It is at hand. Every year that passes, we're going one step closer to the day of the Lord. And we could see it. We could see the prophecies coming to pass. We could see we are on the brinks of martial law, World War III, and the implementation of the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. We could see that we ride there so close that you could even taste it. You could stick your tongue out and taste the kingdom. That's how close it is. It is even at the doors. Yahaba Hashim Shai said. All right? But when Paul was preaching, that wasn't the time. So Paul was giving the people an insight to what to look out for to know when the day is coming, as the scripture says, now it's high time to wake out of sleep. Verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first. And what was the falling away? As the scripture says, let me read this really quick. It says the falling away, right? This is the book of Isaiah chapter 6. And um, and verse 9, it says, and he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of these people fat, make their ears heavy, shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and convert and be healed. So the Lord don't want two thirds of our people to understand. That is why he said to you know, lock off their eyes and their ears and their hearts. Verse 11 Then said I, Lord, how long? How long these people are going to be without understanding? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land shall be utterly desolate. 70 AD, and Yahaba Shemiah Shai have moved man far away, and there be a great forsaken in the midst of the land. And that was the falling away. The falling away was when we got chased from our land in Jerusalem. 
into Mount Masada, into the into the, the um, Anatolia, because you know we were we were there in in Anatolia, which is you know Asia Minor. We we fled to the northern coast of Africa, where we dwelt there for a long to, a long time, thriving. But then the Lord sent the wicked again to bring us over here in the North Atlantic slave trade, and here is where we 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 forgot about the Lord. All right, it was it was beaten out of us. Our language was beaten out of us because guess what? Our people came over here speaking a watered down version of Hebrew. But we know that we were Israelites. A couple of years back, you know, we spoke to a woman from Ghana. What she said, she said that her grandparents, they told her that they are descendants of Israelites. All right? And it's documented that there are tribes in, in, in so-called Africa that still keep the ancient customs. And I ain't talking about the Falasha Jews. All right, talking about yeah, the the Yoruba, the Ghanaians, you know the the Ashantis, uh, the um, I think the Ebos. All right, they still keep the ancient customs. All right, but for the most parts, the for the most parts, Israel on a collective had forgotten about the Lord Yahaba Shemir Shal. Look at us over here worshiping Jesus Christ and a piece of stone over in Mecca. All right. All people reach so far till they worshiping the fucking white man and a stone. Some worshiping the self and, 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 and nature. This is how far we went. This is the great forsaken. All right? This is where Paul was warning about. It says what? Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be except they are coming falling away first and that the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition and the son of man being revealed which is the so-called white man Esau according to the bible who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called here how he, he exalted himself above the angels and above all, all people the nation of Israel all that is worship so that he is as Yahweh set it in the temple of Yahweh showing himself that he is Yahweh alright he trying to pre pre present himself as God, trying to do all kind of wonders. The scriptures talk about doing miracles. The false prophet that wrote miracles. All right. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know that what withholding that he might be revealed in his time. And now is his time. He being revealed. The wicked being revealed. The Chinese know the, the so-called white man is the wicked. I think they call him the red dragon. Iran know the so-called white man is the wicked. They call him the great Satan. All right. Um. All right. So basically, I close it off. But let me let me go in Google real really quick. Um. The great Satan. Alright, so when you go in Wikipedia, here is where it says, The great Satan, Persian. Alright, it says, A demonizing epithet or a nickname or byword for the United States of America in Iran, foreign policy statements. Occasionally, these words have also been used towards the government of the United Kingdom, which is basically Esau. So these countries, they know Esau is the wicked. And they call him the great Satan and the red dragon. Because that is where Esau is the wicked. The wicked is being revealed. All the world knows that Esau is the wicked. Hence the reason Isaiah chapter 14 and 29, it says what? Rejoice not thou whole Palestina, because the rod of him that smote thee is, is broken. Because they know Esau is the wicked. Look at what? They say that. There's the only reason war is in the Middle East is because the so-called white man is in the Middle East. He goes over there making wars. His people calling themselves patriots because they go in foreign countries, destroying families, killing children and women. Because in their mind, in their hearts, they're doing something right. They're doing something patriotic. They, they, they being a hero for just slaughtering people just to get their raw materials. This is all it about. This is all war about, to become rich. And that is why the Lord Yahweh Hashem and Shai come in to destroy you wicked because you're taking away the peace from the world. 
That is why he said in Isaiah and Revelation chapter 11, I believe it's verse 19, if I'm not mistaken, with the verse was in Revelation, or it might be Revelation 9. You know what? Let me let me go. Let me do. Let me do. Fuck you. Too. All right. This is um Revelation chapter nine. Um. Boom 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 boom. All right. So then probably Revelation eleven. Um. Uh, Revelation nine. 11 verse 18 was a 19 it says and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come that's what the scripture said babylon had been a golden cup in the hand of yahweh that made all the nations mad wherefore the nations are um are angry they, they're angry they're angry they vex all right it says the nations are mad and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead that they shall be judged and that they shall give reward unto thy servant the prophets and to thy saints and to them that fear thy name small and great and should destroy them which destroy the earth the lord yahaba shimei and shai coming to destroy them that destroy the earth the so-called white man poisoning the air poisoning the water poisoning the food giving us poison to drink giving us poison to put in our bodies in this current state that we're in right now I don't want to say the word, but the current situation that happening around the world, giving us poison to put in our bodies because mm -hmm. basically they're trying to kill us. The Lord Yahweh Hashem Yashai come to destroy the people of this, the wicked people of this world, which are you Edomites. All right. Going on. Second Thessalonians um, chapter 2 and verse. Six, it says, and now ye know that withhold them that he might be revealed in his time. And now it's his time. He be revealed. All right, because the scripture said, you know, he, the, 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 the Satan shall be loosed and reign for a few, a, a, um, a season, a thousand years. And that was from, that, that small season was from around the 12th century, from the beginning of the Borgias until now. So this is his time to be revealed. He be revealed as the wicked. He's not being revered as a saint anymore. He says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, which is so-called white man on the Roman Empire coming up. It says, Only he now who let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai getting ready to take him out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which we're doing right now. We're consuming it with the spirit of the Lord's mouth because we're shining light on the wicked. All right, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Because the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai gonna have a a feast, a field day in Basra, and that dye his garment red. All right, whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs of lying wonders. And if this is not the so-called white man, then we don't know who is. All right, this is Obadiah chapter one and verse six. It says, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? There's no, Esau's secrets not being secret anymore. They're not secret anymore. They, they, they're coming out. They're coming out that the so-called white man is, is the wicked. The thing that he do in secret, his secret councils, all right? What they did on Jackal Island, you know, in, 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 um, in 1913 with the money, basically to, to oppress the people. How they're trying to coll collapse the global economy. It all knows Georgia Guidestone. But guess what? Our people are still blind to the fact. They're trying to depopulate the world. But our people out here, two-thirds of our people still putting their trust and faith in him, believing that he's good almighty Jesus. All right? He's sweet Jesus. And he's here to help them. The scripture said, he that is evil to himself, to whom shall he do good? All right? The Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahushai coming to destroy the wicked out of the way. And he's been revealed. How are his hidden things sought up? His own people revealing him. His own people bringing out facts that the so-called white man concerning, um, I think it's syphilis. When they injected our people with syphilis just to do a test. All right? When they did the um, gynecologists, how gynecologists started where they, 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 they did tests on our people without any anesthesia. And our people died under their hands. The, 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 the ways of the wicked coming out. 
all right the lord yahaba shimiel shall reveal in them all right this is psalms chapter 64 and verse 8 it says so shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away all that see them shall flee away this scripture says every man shall return to his own country they're fleeing away from the so-called white man. They're saying, ah, we don't want to be a part of this man's destruction. All right? Every man shall return to his own, his, his own land. All right? Because everybody realizing that this man here, he's the wicked. Esau is the wicked. The so-called white man, he's the devil that the scripture speaks of. All right? And it's only a matter of time before the Lord, Yahaba, Shemi, or Shai, destroy him and take him out of the way. Job chapter 9 and verse 24 it says the earth is give is given into the hand of the wicked he covered the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he if the so-called white man is not the wicked that white washed all the images broke off their nose when they couldn't hide the images so that they could hide the fact that these important monarchs were actually negroes of negro descent israelites of the israelite nation all right that show all biblical movies and and and, and place themselves in iconic figures from abraham from noah all the way down until the 12 patriarchs if esau is not the devil that runs the world right now then who is if the so-called white man is not the wicked all right if jesus christus is not the diablo then who is all right so, you people that want to be out here worshipping Jesus Christ, you could go ahead. Alright? But guess what? You're going to be the door hand, join in hand. The wicked shall not go unpunished. Alright? This is Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, Whereas Edom says, We are impoverished, but we will return and build up the desolate places. Thus said Yahabah, Shemi, Shai, they shall build the dead build. The deadly wound was healed. The dead build. But, but I will throw down, the Lord will get ready to throw them down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. East, the land of Esau is the border of wickedness. And that is why America have to be destroyed. That is why the scripture says, let me finish this real quick. The, the border of wickedness or the land of wickedness, the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. The Lord hates his so-called white man, has a perpetual hatred for him. All right, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 4 and verse 28 because it says the land of wickedness, right? Board of wickedness. 2nd Ezra chapter 4 and 28 it says, But as concerning the things we have, thou hast asked me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown, America, pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown in good. So if America don't be destroyed, then we can't be saved. So that's why the Lord have to come and destroy the wicked and take him out of the way and his land. It's going to be heaps. It's going to be heaps. All right? And it was an ancient custom in Israel when they destroyed the wicked. When they destroyed the wicked, they would, they would place them under heaps of stone. They did that to, to Absalom. They did that to... Um, I think one of those... I think. Was a, I think it was a Philistine king, I believe. And they, 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 they placed heaps of stone upon their bodies. Alright? When I think when Joshua, I, I believe it was a Philistine king. If it was not a Philistine king, it's probably the king of, of Jericho. And I miss up. Uh, you know what? Let me look it up. Um, no, nah. just bear with me one quick second. I believe it's here. And, and the king of Ai, he hanged on a tree until even time. And as soon as the sun went down, Joshua commanded that they should take his carcass down from the tree and cast it at the entrance of the gate of the city and raise there on a great heap of stones that remain it unto this day so that is something that they did to the wicked 
all right and they did that unto absalom also all right they did that unto absalom also so america gonna be a great heaps with is, 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 is like is basically is a monument to say hey this is the place of the wicked this is the resting place of the wicked heaps a heap of stone all right that is why america gonna be turned into a heap of stone and will be there as a as a as a as a as a memory and a reminder to all that pass by said yeah this is the land of the wicked that is that is that is where that is where america gonna be that is where your heritage gonna be heaps of stone all right there's the final precept here this is nahum chapter 3 and verse 19 it says there is no healing of thy bruise. So America can't be healed. They say we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Thy wound is grievous. All that hear the brute of thee shall clap their hands over thee. They cannot clap their hands over America being made heaps. All right? For upon whom had not thy wickedness passed continually? So who was not touched with thy wickedness? What country had not experienced evil from the hands of the so-called white man? That is why the Lord had to come and take him out of the way. Of all the nations that are in the world, the only one that will not have peace at the end of slavery is the so-called white man. He's going to be destroyed. America is going to be destroyed. Let me America. East America is going to be destroyed. But you Edomites, you so-called white people, the Lord is going to destroy you at the end. It says, O be thou one and nine, and thy mighty men, O men, shall be dismayed. To the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off with slaughter. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shape shall cover thee. And thou shalt be cut off forever. Alright? Thou shalt be cut off forever. So they wouldn't have... They, they, jump down to verse 18. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. So called white people. All right, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua had spoken it. All right, so the Lord created Esau just to be the wicked and just to do his wickedness and then to be destroyed. As the ancient says, wickedness proceeds from the wicked, so no good could come from him. His hands form the crooked serpent. So then what would he do after he, he created the good? The wicked have no more place. So then the wicked have to be taken out of the way. All right? You Edomites going to be destroyed. Thus say the Lord. Praise Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. And this is what we're waiting on. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises on our glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of greatness and I do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole land since they elect. This is Brother Makazar from the Trend.com saying Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam. <laughs>